I'm Nikki Colton. And I'm Chad Dillon. And this, this is, is the Utica, Utica Rally, Rally Cross, Cross series. series. Coming at you live for your eighth race here in Toyota, Japan. Uh, eighth. <laughs> yes, we have a great event here today and a very interesting venue here at Toyota. This track was built for a Japanese game show that involved stock car racing. Really? But, unfortunately, the show did not make it to air, so there was just a ruined highly dangerous racetrack lying around and we capitalized on the opportunity. Now we got some bit, uh, number one guy I want to point out is Tao Benoit from that really close call battle between Chris Royal last week. He's finally breaking out. That was a breakout race. Maybe today he could follow up. Yes, but you'll have to wait to go up because first up is Matt Evans, the Black Mamba. And car number 17 is going around the first turn on the short track, which had that show existed, this probably would have been the first round. Yes, yes indeed. Now here comes the mega jump, which really isn't that mega, but if you hit it too hard, you might hit the checkpoint. Let's see how he does here. And very well done by Matt Evans. Very right straight, there. and keeps the suspension solid. You know, being first person up, he's doing for, oh, it's oh. almost hit a pile on there. But being first person up, because last week he had the upper hand, he was able to actually watch them in the booth and take notes, you know, until he went up. Today he's first man up. He has, you know, really bad upper hand on that part, but, you know. Yeah, it's it's very difficult for the first guy on track. Yeah. But Matt Evans, hoping to show him how it's done here in Toyota. And he's not doing too bad, but ew, he's having trouble here near the pylons. Now, there was a double route there. You had to go that first way. Yep. And now he takes the left path, goes on to the short track again, and crosses the line for a time of a 56.92. Not bad time. Now we have followed by Richard Johnson from Bain Auto Racing here. Trying to follow up from the back, Black Mamba's pretty good, decent first run. I mean, that's a good time. You know, that's not bad for the first runner-up. Yes, Richard Johnson, the winner in Elkhorn Pike, trying to get a second. Oh, 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 no! Oh, oh almost Richard hits! Just, he uh, saves it, though. He saves it. Almost hit some spectators that were inside the building. They probably were, like, terrified, but, you know, they're okay. Hopefully. Yes, uh, it could have been another Kyle Larson scenario, but fortunately it was not as Richard Johnson now the weaves his way through the pylons. Yeah, the pylon turned. Oh, oh, almost was hesitant there to go left or right, but I think he made the right choice. You gotta make sure you get the right pass down, or else you could be wasting a lot of time. Now that turned very well done. Oh, clips the corner there. A though. little too fast. Yes, yeah, so, you know, he was trying to get too eager around the turn. Now this part, if, like I said, this, is, this road is just like dirt. If, if you can turn before the turn, You'll ride the inside, and you'll be able to have a really smooth turn throughout the entire run. Here we go. He hits the jump, back onto the short track, Pretty and good. he crosses the line with a, oh, a minute 11. Not the best time, but uh, he's going to chart. Now it's time for Michael Aurelio. You know, to, in the top of the, the points, you know, he's looking to... Really As you know, he got overthrown, if you remember, by Matt Evans. Oh, yeah. Well, no, he's still in the top, though. He's still oh, yeah, in the top. he's up there. He's trying, at this race, really trying to get back up to the top number one spot. This is a big race for him. Coming near the end of this season, he really wants to push for those points. Yes, especially with only two races after this. There's yes. not much time to mess up. And Dead Man's Point, a Dead Man's Curve is going to be a really, really tough race event because there's a lot of places where you can mess up and a lot of places you can fall. Precisely as oh Michael Aurelio struggling. He's really slow through the these bend. Turns. Yeah, it doesn't look like Michael. Aurelio. Oh, oh, he's gonna hit a pillar, and that is going to put a damper on his run, and it might cause some steering issues. We'll have to see. Fortunately, oh, the oh, race oh, runs oh, it wide. Oh, oh, he's oh, he saved How it. How did he even save that? He pulled a Seth Cole. Yeah, that was a close call. Unfortunately, the stuntman Seth Cole is not here today. He has a replacement driver who we'll get to later. A minute 0233, not the best time, but now it's John Cedino from Cedino Web Motorsports on track, the fourth car out today. Okay, now with his new partner, Matt Duell, on board, he, you know, Matt, John Cedino, he's doing, not, he's average in this rallycross series, the same with the is, is in the Utica home track series. But he's, again, in these new seasons, he's looking to get his team back on track and really put them forth. Is it, he's been going on a team revitalization movement. Yes. To try and get a lot of new talent and get a lot of talented crew members behind their cars. As far as the Utica home track service, he brought over Matt Evans to really get a boost on that because he had a great season last year. It's Matt Evans, one of the top guys in the series, but oh, he's going to clip that wall there. He's going to have to see if this is going to be good or not. As he makes it around the obstacle course the first time, heads through the pillars again. Oh, oh he's going to clip a pillar. I think he's having some serum problems there. I'm not sure about that, though. But he's tracking pretty good from his previous, yes. previous um, time loops. Lost a little bit here, but we'll have to see how well he finishes. Will he beat Matt? And yes, yes, he, yes does. he does beat Matt Evans with a 56-59. Now it's time for Jeffrey Finn Guy from Puffy Moe Anime Mo Rally Sports. Yes, Jeffrey Finn Guy. Um, you know he's had a lot of tough breaks in this couple races that he's run. 
that, but that one uh, race at Budva, he had a really good run on his first time out. He had second place. Maybe today he can actually pull through and maybe get a good run. Yes, and today Finn Guy is making his final Rallycross Series yes. start for the season. He may come back next year. He probably will. He did very well for them. Estavis Cortez will be in the car for Panakanui Atoll and Dead Man's Curve. Right now he's tracking fairly well. He's having a very good run. Ooh, hits that turn. Very well. That's oh, he's going to make it to the bend very smoothly. Not going to hit anything if he makes it now, through the first here's the, time. Here's the pylon turn here, which has been throwing off a lot of drivers here. Oh, he clips it, but not that bad. Not yeah, that he bad. saves it pretty well. Yep. Still tracking very well as he hits the final jump, makes it around the turn. Let's see what he does. Looking pretty fast. A 55 32. A great and that time. is going to defeat John City. He'll put him on top of the standings. Now it's time for Alex Tanker, Carter A for Duncan Motorsports. Alex Tanker and William Duncan. Now, they, again, they're still in the middle of the pack, but they're, they're starting to get a little better. They're starting to get a little better as a team, and I'm, I hope that maybe in the next season they can really be a dominant series holder. Yes, Hong Kong was a real strong point for the Duncan yes. Motorsport team. It showed that they had equipment that could run very well. They were very so they, consistent. Yes, and yeah. both cars ran near identical times and finished like in the higher end of the field. So, great job for the Duncan Motorsport guys last week trying to replicate that success this time. Lucas Wall. Not a bad turn, though. You know, even though hitting that, it actually helped him break on it so he didn't hit the wall in the corner. Yes, tracking really good as he's almost a Finn guy. I think he's actually, oh, he's a little bit ahead. As long as he can hit this final turn right, he might be able to beat it. Very Ooh. good, but turns it wide, slides. Ooh. Will he be able to cross the line ahead of Finn guy? He does. Yes, he will. 54-42 for Alex Tanker. What a great run. A great run as Chris Aurelio, the winner from last time, is up on track. Let's see if he can take the top of the standings again. But this time it probably wouldn't be as dramatic as he was. is not the last guy to go out today by a long shot. Chris Aurelio starting to outshine his brother a little bit in the rally cross. He's been a lot more dominant. He's been doing very well. Yeah, especially in the second half of the year. Michael Aurelio got his win early on, but Chris yeah. Aurelio been kind of stealing the show. He's but a little more consistent than Michael Aurelio now near, near the end of the season. Yes, but the Aurelios, they're brothers. They work well yeah, as a team. Yeah. They're always in the shop. They don't have a large large crew like other shops. So they're just trying to survive and make it in through the series. He's having a great run right now. Wow. Chris Aurelio. If they do well this year, they're hoping to uh, locate that funding and to try and expanding their Utica Home Track series yeah. so they can actually run the full schedule this Maybe year. Maybe they can take some funding from Rally Cross. They've been doing very well. Yes, Very as well. he crosses the line, and oh, ooh, wow. it's a top time of 53-56. A great job by Chris Rowe, and now it's time for Austin Ogo. Let's go, Ogo. Boom, to boom, 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 to boom, 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 oh, Ogo. Oh, 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 Ogo. Oh, oh, double round. Oh, oh, no, Ogo. Oh, oh, no. He somehow. He just nicked it. I'm surprised that car didn't go barreling over. We got caught off guard with an amazing song we just made up there, but... Yes, it was blasting from the speakers here at the racetrack. Oh, they're going to bump that all day long now. Oh. Yep, it's going to be on our mixtape. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's coming out. Our next fall, it's coming out. It's going to have uh, going to have Little Wayne as oh, the guest rapper, yeah. and he's going to ruin it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Check it out. We're going to have not one chain or two chains, but three chains. Oh, three chains, really? Uh-huh, for the three letters in Ogo's name. But anyway, back to Ogo. Oh, Ogo! Oh, oh, no! Oh, no, Ogo! <laughs> Once we go back to Ogo, he wait, crashes off the track. Wait, wait, he somehow is still... He's still going. He's still going. Okay, he's got to he work his way back on track. He he's, somehow squeezes. He's squeezing like toothpaste out of a toothpaste Now, no thing. one, no one is DNF'd right now, so even this... Even if he makes it through, I'm pretty sure it's going to put him in last place with this time. I mean, this is... This is abysmal, but at least he yeah. can finish. And if any cars do go out of the race, he will be ahead of them. He does finish the with one, a horrible wow, time. Wow, 120.03. Next up is Tyler Benoit in car number three from the Benoit Motorsports Stable. And he's trying to get the win today. Yeah, after having that breakout race in Hong Kong, he, he's really been very successful uh, in this area here. He's looking to be more dominant today. He wants to really set the tone for the end of the season. Maybe pull out and actually get back in the, the, the points because he's rising up slowly but surely. If he's seen heartbreak in the Utica yes. Track Series, he came so close but was not able to pull it off near the end. He lost it with a couple, with I think one race to go before the finale. This series, he's trying to reverse that and he's making a real charge to try and get to the top of the standings. A great performance last week. He's going to have to he's, see if he can top it this time. He's tracking incredibly fast right now with the amazing timing right now. Oh, that turn was a little better. 
Here we go. He crosses the line. He does do it. A 52-71 from Tyler Bernoy. And that's going to defeat his rival, Chris Aurelio. Now it's time for William Duncan from the Duncan Motorsports Camp. We were talking about them earlier yeah. with Alex Tanker. Which had a great run today. He, Alex Tanker, very well done today. Yep, Alex. and that's going to give him a bonus point. Now see if William Duncan can get a bonus point for himself by throwing Tyler Benoit off the top of the standings. So we'll have to see. Now we don't want, hopefully Tyler Benoit doesn't get that heartbreak again. But again, if he gets another top place, which most likely he's going to, well, he'll probably get top three, he is going to move up in points tremendously because the top guys, like, um, let's see, Matt Evans did okay, but I don't think he's going to be in the top five. And uh, Michael really that's a big factor in the point standing right there. Yes, but there are still quite a few drivers to yes. go, so anything can happen. Yep. William Duncan tracking a little slower, but it's still a pretty good time. As Wayzak, he's starting to pick it up here in this later section. Oh, he's clo he's right with Tyler Benoit. Uh, let's see how he does it this it's all on this turn. Almost messed it up on the turn there, but he's tracking pretty close. Oh, oh he just not going it. to do it. A 52-86, but a second play for William Duncan as Matt Duell, the replacinator, is on track. Duel. Exactly. <laughs> as car number six goes around the course, used to be the Billy Bishop machine, but Matt Duell driving it now. Billy Bishop, uh, is. I think he might try and come back for the next season of this, mm -hmm. but we'll have to see how the silly season for this goes. But Matt Duell... You know, trying to play well. Yeah. I like this guy. I like Matt Dooley. He's pretty. He's a pretty good guy. I'm pretty glad. I'm glad that he's getting to the Utica Home Track Series, the Rally Cross Series. I'm really glad he's been a part of all yeah. this. You know, he's really enjoying it. Yeah, a new face on the scene. Very friendly Ooh. in the garage area. A lot of people like like him around, but it's not going to go good in that turn there. That's going to slow him down a, but a not, good amount. Not bad tracking though. I mean, you know, he, he's always clipping a couple turns. His speed's pretty pretty good. As he goes over the final Ooh. jump, oh, hits that wall. Let's see what the time is. A uh, 54-46, fifth place, yeah. but it's not going to be the win for him. Now it's the replacement for Seth Cole, Sister Mary Cole. Yes, Mary Cole. Now, Mary Cole, maybe we'll be able to put some stunt, maybe we'll run in the jeans, the stunts. You know, I mean, maybe she'll, she'll pull an awesome run, but let's see who knows. Let's see, this is her first start. Does not have any experience in yes. a rally cross series car, other than maybe driving the car around the Cole backyard. Yeah. Tearing up all the grass back there. <laughs> But uh, Mary Cole, trying her best. Let's see how she's going to be at Panakanui Atoll next week too, and uh, yeah. Seth Cole um, is going to oh. hopefully come back for um, Dead Man's Curve, and uh, we're hoping he that, recovers that from that from injury. Kong, yeah, the Hong Kong injury. That was, you know, that that was a pretty dangerous jump there. I mean, you, if you fall to just right, you could kill yourself. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but danger is this series' middle name. Is oh, oh no! Just like teammate Austin wait, Ogo. Wait. She makes it over somehow, with, and the, with the lack of driving experience, how does she even do that? I don't know, it looks like the stunt person is runs stunting, in the jeans. Yep. The stunt woman, Mary Cole, <laughs> backs it up onto the racetrack once more, get a rare view of the front of the vehicle, Yeah. as she tries to jump again. Sadly, this is not going to be too good of a run for car number 10, oh. but it's going to be Austin Ogo, yeah. which is a shame. Not going to budge the top five. Now it's time for Emil Michaels from Puffy Moe Anime Rally Sports. They've been really looking forward to this event, this team. Yes, definitely. They're real Japanophiles and otakus, so they're go they're really looking forward Emil to Michaels this Emil Michaels was really, really excited to really like, race here. I mean, if, if he can really do it, let's see if he does it. Yeah, but this run does not seem to be going well at the moment. He seems kind of slow. I'm not sure if he has a steering problem. We'll have to monitor the radio. See, when I when, when now like beat Tyler Benoit, you have to have a consistent run because Tyler Benoit he's he's quick on the the first half, but the second half was really slow, and I think that's what the key is. If you can get both at a consistent rate, you might be able to beat Tyler Benoit. There we go, Emil Michaels going around the track, makes it through the pylons. Wow! Whoa! whoa. whoa. He's getting a. This is an excellent speed boost. This is going around there. Is he gonna do it? Can he? Oh he my does God! It. He does it! He does it! A 52. 54, and you can eat that consistency as Emil Michaels basically made up a winning time wow. on the last segment of the track, which means it's still possible to take the win, but you got to be really good. Let's see if Dylan White can do just that. Tyler Benoit heartbroken again. He, I can hear him on the radio just talking to somebody. Oh, man, he is really heartbroken Wait, wait, again. wait. Stop talking. You can hear the tears rolling down his <laughs> face with such fury. You know what? I, I'm still happy for him. The second place still pretty good so far. I mean, you can't complain about that. Yes, but the gentle kiss of victory has eluded him yet oh, again but, as Dylan White slides into the turn there. Now, Dylan White, the two-time winner, mm -hmm. he won at Yuma, and he also won in Stockholm. Yes, he did. Yes, he got that right finally. 
Did I? Yes, you did. Wait, no, no I did. I did I got it wrong. He didn't win in Stockholm, but he is going. He got a to... 53. Oh wow! Not bad. Now we have Joseph Bryant from Richard and Vietti Racing. I got that, but you still <laughs> messed that up. I don't. Why know do why. I keep thinking he wins at Stockholm? I don't know, but Matt Evans. You know, I Stockholm Budva, same diff. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Now, Joseph, Same continent. Now, Joseph Bryant here, looking to get a good run. You know, Ooh, that was a close call by Joseph Bryant. Yeah. Almost hitting that checkpoint as he makes his way through the pillars. Pretty good for the Pirates. Yeah, he did a very good job through there. Oh, it clips to the side right there. But, wow. Yeah, he, Joseph Bryant, a friend of Seth Cole's, running the full schedule for Utica Home Track Series. Oh, said, oh, oh, I think that's going to hurt the run a little bit. Oh, I think <laughs> Just it's a smidgen. I think it might break the front. Oh, man. I'm surprised he didn't the bearing, get launched. The bearings in the front of the car are probably just total. Thank God there are seatbelts in these vehicles. I would hope so. Or else he would be catapulted into oblivion as he makes it over the ramp. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Disappointing run for Joseph Bryant. 57-60. Not going to put him in the top five, but better than some others. Okay, two cars to go, and one of them is the Benjamin. Dun, 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 dun. I hear the train a coming, it's rolling around the bend, and I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. Yeah! Brandon <laughs> Now we have to pay copyright on Fulton Prison Blues yes. to the Johnny Cash and his associates. Hopefully I'll get that one. It's no, a it's a remix. Yeah, it's true, true. It's a remix. We sampled it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, Brandon Bain, car <laughs> number 15. <laughs> uh, oh, he's just not having a good run. Now, Brandon Bain. We have such a big intro for him, but he's not that big star you would think he would be in the Rallycross series. Hopefully next season he can come out and really push for maybe a top five in points next season. He's generally a speedway racer, but he's been running in this series to try and boost his abilities at road racing, and it seems to work slightly, but it's not going to be that good of a time here today at 57.72 as we go to our last driver, Ray, Ray Davis. Davis for Richard and Vietti Racing. Looking to hear some Captain Clutch racing here. He could pull it off. He could beat Emil Michaels and really crush Emil Michaels' dreams as well. Now, Ray Davis, known for his clutch end of the race driving, maybe he could do it today. Yes, he won the race in Sar Chad. Yes. And he's gotten top five throughout the season. He's hoping that he can get such a good run today. If and he's up near the top of the points and a great championship competitor. Yes. And I have my money on him. Yeah, he's very well. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he does win this today. You know, he's known for it. See how he does it there. Oh, that's going to cost him some time there. But actually, he rid it very well. I mean, it kind of swayed him into the turn. It was weird. Yes, he's going around for the final lap. Let's see if he has to speed like Emil Michaels. Not as fast as Emil Michaels. Yep, he's going to have to try and get a good oh. time there. But it's going to hit that wall. That's going to throw him off. Oh, a 53-67. It's a good time, but it's not going to be the top time. Your winner is... In Japan is Emil Michaels, and he is excited, and so is the team. They really wanted to win this yes, race, and they great, did great it. For now. Unfortunately, they're low in points. Then there's Tyler Benoit, William Duncan, Dylan White, Chris Aurelio, Ray Davis, Alex Tanker, Matt Duell, Jeffrey Finguy, and John Sadie in your top ten. Now we have Matt Evans, the Black Mamba, Joseph Bryant, all aboard the Bain train, Brandon Bain, Richard Johnson, Michael Aurelio, which is surprising, 15th. That's not that good. Yeah, didn't do well at all. Uh, Mary Cole and Austin Ogo to round off the rest of your drivers. Now let's take a look at your extreme point standings going into our ninth race. After this event, Tyler Benoit. Benoit is on top of the charts with great finishes for these two weeks, and I bet he's excited about that. Even though having a heartbroken loss today, that's going to really boost his spirits. Second is Ray Davis, Matt Evans, Chris Aurelio, who was 10th at midseason. Dylan White, John Cedino, Michael Aurelio, William Duncan, Brandon Bain, and Richard Johnson, your top 10. Now we have Joseph Bryant, Seth Cole, Alex Tanker, Emil Michaels, Austin Ogo, let's go Ogo, Jeffrey Finguy, Estavis Cortez, Matt Duell doing fairly well in starting off with the two races, Adam Dunlap with his only race, Billy Bishop, and Mary Cole. Yes, and everyone, Alex Tanker is mathematically eliminated from the championship, so they will not be able to win. Next race, we're going to Panaka Nui Atoll, which should be interesting. A small island in the middle of the Pacific, and it should be great racing fun. I hope my, to see I'm you there. i my hula dance on. Yes, we got to get the hula and the whatnot. Hula, the hula, the hula, see you next time. Hula, hula, hula.